right, so here's the former UFC interim welterweight champion, Colby Covington, and whether he's banging on the Brazilians or going at fans on Twitter, there's a lot that encompasses this total package of Colby Covington. He's a hell of a fighter. Though. But ultimately, it's about the fight, and the fighting ability is what has carried Colby to such a great start in his UFC career. A former champion, a guy that's been in there with the very best of the division, and when he's been in there, he's been able to get his hand raised. I always go back to the Rafael Dos Santos fight, and I watch Colby put a pace on him that Dos Santos, who is also known as cardio, could not keep. It was inspiring to watch, and if you know Colby, before fighting, you know that he trains as hard as anybody in the world to try to accomplish his goal. He is the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, and in a division that has so much depth in that top 15, it's even more remarkable that this man has remained the hunt in the question tonight. With a powerful challenger out of that blue corner, can he walk away and still? for this, our main event of the evening. More than five years apart, some differences in height and reach. And with the official introductions, here is the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Herb Dean. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC welterweight championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 17 wins, three losses. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Presenting the challenger, Kobe Chaos Covington. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 12 wins, no losses. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Stockholm, Sweden. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC welterweight champion of the world, Hamzat Boris Chibaya. All right, this is for the championship. You can give me your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. All right, so here we go. Round one is underway. Very compelling matchup for fight fans around the world. It's going to be very interesting to see how soon the grappler goes for the takedown. Well, he's going to try to get the takedown right away. But when he shoots that shot, when he changes that level, he is going to be shooting into a guy that truly understands all aspects of mixed martial arts. I'm wondering how, if his first shot doesn't work, does he approach trying to get this fight to the ground? Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Ooh, nice, nice right there. Landed a good uppercut there. Oh, big left hook there. Oh, straight right. Powerful leg kick lands. Nice. Closes the distance, gets 
single collar tie. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. And that one certainly found the target. Oh, man, that's a nice kick right there. He's doing a great job of landing that kick over and over again. Oh, and he lands another leg kick there. He's already landed, yeah, looks a little wobbly on his feet. Well, he's up, but oh, is he hurt. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. And both guys really throwing with authority. He's throwing every part of himself. All right, so a high amplitude double leg takedown there. Now we'll see what he can do with it to try to advance position on the ground. You knew that he was going to attack the double because he's such an explosive guy. He got it on the hip, finished the shot very quickly. Fantastic job. Nice straight punch. He's rocked. That was a beautiful hook. It landed perfectly, and it hurt his opponent very bad. Big kick. Oh! starting to show signs of swelling. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active. Keep it busy, doing great work. Oh, and he finally gets the takedown now. So what do they say? It, try, try again. If, if at first you don't succeed, you try, try again, and this guy, is the poster boy for that saying, because he shot many takedown attempts, and he finally has secured one. Hip tosses him down, now we'll see if he can advance position. I mean, right into side control. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent, you gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape, or maybe look for a Kimura here. All right, so he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High level. Covington's got his hand looking for a guillotine choke. Pretty good work off of the bottom here by Covington. Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. Oh, and he's back up again. Huge shot the target there. Great shot, man. Now he's gotta go find that power up with him. The kill shot is what they call it. Going in the fight. Big punch, man. Man, his leg kicks are outstanding, and you saw a great example of that just there. And you see as the pump starts to slow down, he cannot take many of those kicks. Nice defense on the single leg takedown. You can tell he's worked on that. Boom. And they separate. Man, he's timed his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. You got him with his hip into that kick. So a lot of highlights over those previous five minutes. DC, take us through the replay, if you will. A lot of good action, but punching led the dance. Punching was the thing that stood out to me. That allowed him to take control of the run. Second round underway. Extremely swollen now. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take this. Oh, that is 
as big a strike as he has landed thus far tonight. Big, massive shot lands. Look at how tough his opponent is, though. Still standing, still in their fight. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Oh, how about the speed on that reversal there? I mean, it takes the back, now going for the rear naked choke. He is doing a really good job of relaxing, not panicking because he's getting choked. Yeah, notice he just took the body triangle, readjust the lock, and now it looks like he's got it. He got it. He got it, John. How about it? Yes, the win by submission. Beautifully executed there on the ground. He gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He was able to get the fight to the ground exactly where he wanted it. Eventually, his opponent gave him an opportunity to get a submission. He did that, and he should be very proud of the work he did tonight in the octagon. Well, it's one thing to earn a UFC title. It's another thing to get it done. And the official decision is...